We're going to explain how to connect a VDG cable, presumably a VGA cable, as VDG isn't a standard term, to your motherboard. First, it's crucial to understand that most modern motherboards don't have a VGA port directly on the board itself. They typically use HDMI, DisplayPort, or USB-C for video output. If your motherboard does have a VGA port, great. If not, you'll need a video card with a VGA port or an adapter. 1. Identify your motherboard's video output. Locate the video ports on your motherboard. Look for slots that are usually blue or another distinctive color and are labeled as VGA, HDMI, DisplayPort, or USB-C. 2. Check for an integrated graphics processor, IGP. Most modern processors include an integrated graphics processor. This means the video output comes directly from the CPU, not a separate graphics card. If your motherboard utilizes an IGP, the video port will be on the motherboard itself. 3. Locate the VGA port if present. If your motherboard does have a VGA port, it will typically be near the back panel I.O. It's usually a 15-pin D-sub connector, a trapezoidal shape with 15 pins arranged in three rows. 4. Installing a graphics card if needed. If your motherboard lacks a VGA port, you'll need a dedicated graphics card with a VGA connector. Open your computer case, make sure it's unplugged. Find the PCI Express, PCIe, X16 slot, usually the longest slot, and carefully insert the graphics card, pressing it firmly until it clicks into place. Secure the card with the retaining bracket at the back of the computer case. 5. Connecting the VGA cable. Once you've identified the VGA port, either on the motherboard or the graphics card. Plug one end of the VGA cable into the port securely. 6. Connecting the other end. Connect the other end of the VGA cable to your monitor's VGA input. Make sure it's firmly seated. 7. Powering on and checking. Turn on your computer. Your monitor should now display the desktop. If not, check the cable connections and ensure that the monitor is powered on and set to the correct input source. 8 using an adapter, if needed. If your motherboard only has HDMI or DisplayPort, but your monitor only has VGA, you'll need an adapter. These are readily available online or in electronic stores. Connect the adapter to your motherboard's HDMI or DisplayPort port, and then connect the VGA cable to the adapter. Remember to always unplug your computer before handling any internal components. If you are unsure about any step, Seeking help from a professional technician is always recommended to prevent damaging your